Here I am listening to the sound of the rain pitter patter on the roof of my boat. It's cold outside and dark. Here it's warm, the fire's on, the candles are all lit. I'm feeling good. What more could I ask for? Well, how about asking you to step on board and join me for this episode? On this episode, narrowboat life gets unlocked. Busy scenes on the lock flight at Bosley. On a sunny day, I cruise along the canal to a new mooring. My creative juices are flowing with another canal-inspired poem. A palette of objects and light blended together by the brushstrokes of nature brings this mirrored world to life. And I've got news about my new channel that brings you even more tranquility. Sit back, relax and enjoy. So here we are back inside the boat and I, I, I love it. It's a small space, but as somebody pointed out the other day, my friend Stu, he said, it's like the TARDIS, you know, from the outside. But when you actually get in, it's bigger than you think. So this is my lounge kitchen and uh, further beyond is the bedroom and the bathroom. And I have a bath as well, believe it or not, actually a shower and bath. Um, and uh, this is 57 foot long, this boat, 57 foot. And uh, yeah, it is literally like stepping into a TARDIS. There's been a drought. The reservoirs have been empty. The canals have been low. We've been sitting on the bottom. My bottom's been on the bottom, if you know what I mean. The boat bottom, that is. And yeah, it's been difficult mooring up and restrictions of boat movement was halted. You didn't have to move your boat. The 14 day rule of moving your boat as a continuous cruiser um, was um, paused for a while, um, for several months. And of course the locks have been closed to save water, preserve water. But Mother Nature has been kind recently and we've had lots and lots of rain. And fortunately enough to unlock the locks and uh, allow all them people that were trapped at the bottom end of the locks and the people that were trapped at the top end of the locks up here on the Macclesfield Canal to have a safe passage through and get back to their original moorings that they wanted to go to, their, where their permanent moorings are. At the end of the day, Mother Nature does what she wants to do. And at the end of one of the rainbows, a lock to be unlocked. Canal River Trust, it must have been a record-breaking few days of opening them locks because they had around, I think it was 13 lock keepers on, which I'm sure is a record, the amount of lock keepers they had. And 12 boats a day, I think, going up and down.
due to the restrictions lifted and the 14 day rule about moving your boat that's been lifted as well so I've been able to stay a bit longer than two weeks but that's stopped now so it's been time to start moving again and only the other day I went up to Bosley Locks up to the services there to fill up the tank the water tank and basically turn around and just find a new mooring spot Many of my viewers that watch my channel have asked if I could do some meditational videos. Well, the great news is, yeah, I've set a new YouTube channel up. I've got this footage that's been lying about on my hard drives for a long time. And I just thought, this is great. This is beautiful scenery and let's put it out there it is my real my own footage it's the real mccoy there's lots of stuff there there's oceans the sound of the ocean when i was next to the ocean in tenerife the huge waves rolling in off the atlantic um, there's welsh mountain waterfalls when i've been to wales and i've just sat there and left the camera rolling Sometimes it's really great just to sit in front of the screen and watch a waterfall and listen to the birds and the sound. Hopefully you will find them useful for getting yourself out of the mind, relaxing and even getting some sleep. Take a look. Don't forget to subscribe. How do you actually turn around a canal boat on a narrow canal? First thing is to find a winding hole or where the canal widens, like here, top lock at Bosley. 
like you would do a three-point turn in a car. It's the same with a narrowboat. Very similar manoeuvre. To successfully complete this 360 degree turn, I have to have awareness, concentration. Be aware of which direction the wind's blowing. It can assist me, it can be of help, but it also can be a nightmare and you could get stuck. Luckily today, the wind is low and it helps. This particular turning point for me is very tight. I've got a couple of feet at either end, that's all just a couple of feet and depending on the water level if it's lower water then it's a lot less forwards reverse forwards reverse that's all it simply is but one important thing is remembering to always go into neutral just for a few seconds between forward or reverse if you don't your propeller will unscrew will drop off and you're not going anywhere. And the other thing you have to remember is that when you're going forward and you want to go right, you turn the tiller to the left. And if you want to go to the left, you turn the tiller to the right. And eventually you get used to it. Living on a narrowboat inspires me to be creative. You fill the oceans with you. One of the key things though to be creative is being surrounded by, like me here, nature, wonderful scenes. The misty mornings. reflections in the water, the dancing light on the stone, watching them autumn leaves float by, watching the animals in the fields. When you're connecting with that and you're tuned in to all that, 
wonderful things happen. A creative side of you that comes out. It's not coming from this conditioned mind, it's just coming from nowhere. A narrow canvas of water. A palette of objects and light. Blended together by the brushstrokes of nature. Brings this mirrored world to life. Rhythmic ripples dance and sway with impressions of Monet, Picasso, and framed by pilings and puddled clay. Wobbly trees, cows, boats, a liquid of bricks and stone, this gallery of hypnotic shimmering display calms my mind body and soul. I'd like to say a big thank you to all my patrons, all my subscribers, and a big thank you to Cathy Waterside at Bollington for sponsoring this video. Thank you for joining me on Narrowboat Isness. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button. There's a bell button for notifications. I look forward to seeing you back on board very soon. Thank you.